Hello. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's round of readings. For the main part of the readings, the tarot part, I'm using Awakened Tarot. And it's by Team Rive. There's a website on here. It's at the bottom. Um, at the bottom, I want to say it's M Y R V. No, am I saying it wrong? M-Y-R-Y-V-E dot com. Right there at the bottom if you want to find more information about it. Hopefully it's focusing. And there's that information if you want to freeze frame and see what that's about. Supportive Oracle Cards. One of my favorite decks. Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Uh, illustrated by Jesse Reich. Okay. And websites are... I think it's Hay House, right? I'm just a little bit slow. Yeah, hayhouse.com. They're at the bottom. Hayhouse.com. If you look up the deck, though, you should be able to find it wherever you want to find it. But. And last but not least, I have to find a different way to do this part, but I'm still doing it the same way. But thank you for the person who gave me the idea. I keep thinking about it. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do it right now. Um, the dice I use are from the dice shop mathartfun.com if you want to get them. They're numbered dice, so it's like 1 to 22 for the ma major arcana. I substitute 22 for 0 for the fool, and I use a 14-sided dice for the minor arcana, and then I use a 4-sided dice to choose the element. So hopefully you can see that. Math Art Fun, I think, is what it is. Hopefully it's not glaring. All right. That being said, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, james for at gmail.com. It's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. Um, all right, let's go on to your reading. Hello, Libra. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Libra? That was a bunch of cards all at once. That's it, that's it. Okay, so. I keep feeling like this situation has got a lot going on. Um, so, even if it's not really complicated, for some reason this information and energy feels very complicated, so I feel like I have to bring it down so it can be more concise and make sense. I feel like this situation, my first thought is it needs to be simplified. Um, there's a lot going on beneath the surface. I feel like maybe this situation, I don't want to say that it overwhelms you because I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's that. I think it's more like I'm um, I'm just sick of holding the line. I feel like there's just certain people and certain things I'm just sick of dealing with. I don't think it's overwhelmed as much as just kind of like, I'm just, I just feel like I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I, I can do it. I could probably keep doing it for years, but I'm just, I don't want to. I just literally don't want to. I don't think it's overwhelmed because I feel like if I say overwhelmed, it makes it sound like you've got too much. It's not th like that. It's, I just, I feel like I'm wasting my time with some of this because I don't think people are working with me. And people just, they say they're going to do one thing and they, they turn around and do something else. And I'm like, all right, I understand changing your mind, but it, this feels more like to me that they're telling me something to get me out of the way. And they're literally having other things planned they're not telling me about, and that's what they're doing. Okay. Because uh, I keep trying to understand, like, why, why why, is this not working out? Why, why does Libra keep wanting to move away from this? And I feel like that makes sense. Um, you want to stabilize things. You want to balance them out. Libra's natural energy is to, like, fairly ban balance things out. Everybody deserves their fair share. And I feel like people are, like working behind my back to take that power away from me or to not let me know what's really going on. Um, I feel like after the fact, a few times I have found out where people just 
they make it look like this is how it is just so they can get what they want and then when they've stolen away with what they wanted then you find out what was really going on it's kind of like you know we have five kids and we have 20 cookies so it looks like every kid should get four cookies just for argument's sake you know if they're small we're just going to say they're small cookies just for argument's sake um but then you find out there was only two kids and they didn't need that many cookies in, in fact in the beginning you're like well kids that they don't need four cookies maybe they should have had two cookies no no they're just small cookies then you find out they weren't small cookies they were bigger cookies and you're like four big cookies and wait now there's only two kids so the, between the two kids they each got 10 big cookies did they really need that and it's kind of like why why are we playing these games and some of it seems trivial like that. Like I'm talking about cookies, and it's kind of cookies are trivial. But it's still kind of like, literally, that's what we're playing these games with, which becomes very just annoying. When you're in the moment and you can see what's going on right in front of you, I get that you have a lot of success. But the moments, it's moments of success. I get you have moments of success with this situation. When things are literally right in front of you, you can see who is there, what the supplies are, what the tasks are, that you can handle without a problem and nobody seems to give you a hard time but whenever you don't have it literally literally right in front of you that's when we have to that's when the ridiculousness goes in that's when it starts and I feel like do you get along with these people? Libra tends to like to get along with people that's my impression of Libra you like to be sociable you like to be agreeable within reason you like to get along you like to find where people can get along that's my impression of Libra. Um, Queen of Cups reversed and the Temperance reversed. People are making... Like, Temperance normally would work with you. Temperance sometimes talks about Sagittarius energy. You don't have to be dealing with a Sagittarius person. But that's a compatible energy for Libra, basically. Usually. For the base energies. The both base energies. Um, Sagittarius keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Tends to be very favorable very animated, keeps things going, keeps things going, and Libra usually goes well with that. Sagittarius is usually willing to go a different direction in the moment's notice. Libra usually likes that, as long as, you know, things stay on point with where they're supposed to go. So, I get that there's people here that I should get along with, and I try to get along with, but I feel like it's, it's really hard to keep things on point. Something doesn't make sense here. The Queen of Cups reversed is somebody keeping secrets in a manipulative way, in my opinion. That's When the, the Queen is upright, that's a positive energy, more of a loving energy. When it's reversed, it's kind of having its own manipulative ways. It could be using their powers or abilities, if you will, in a negative sense. Um, sometimes literally just to contradict what you want. Starting to rain out. Um, so I feel like this is why I'm starting to avoid it. Because it's just kind of like, I'm starting to look at this in the way of like, it doesn't matter how pleasant I am, how realistic I try to be, how accommodating to certain people I try to maneuver things. They just literally want to go contrary to what I want. Even if I try to find the opposite thing so that they contrary the way I want them to contrary, it still goes some other wacko way. Um, <laughs> where are we going with this situation? Because I'm just like, where are we going with this inf information? Because I feel like there's other people a part of this. And I'm like, why are they going along with this? Why is this actually allowed to happen this way? The Lover's card, half in, half out. And the Knight of Cups, also half in, half out. The F Five of Swords here is the card I'm seeing in the environment. Um, people in this situation, they remind me of, like, they want to do the right thing when the right thing serves them. And do I need to explain that anymore? I feel like you exactly know what I'm talking about with that. They want to do the right thing when it works best for them. If it doesn't, eh. I, I, I don't that's, I don't mean to, I feel like this is a frustrating reading hopefully this has like something good for you because I see like we're going towards something where you should have more power in this situation but I'm also questioning if you even want that um, 
Because I'm getting here, there's some type of switch over. I think something new is coming in. Okay. I think somebody new is... Is somebody new coming in or am I taking that the wrong way? Because I see the world card coming in, which talks about a new phase, but I don't see you leaving anything. Even though you got that Six of Swords, I don't see you leaving. This is more of a temporary resolve. I don't feel like we're just completely done. That is the King of Fire coming in and the uh, Emperor. King of Fire sometimes, to me, talks about uh, Leo energy. He doesn't have to. Um, can also talk about Aries sometimes. The Emperor can talk about Aries sometimes. Um, <laughs> doesn't have to be those person, people, but... Um, doesn't have to be those people. Don't have to be that literal sign. But your first initial reaction to when this comes in... There's going to be some people in here who are not very pleasant. I The best way I can put it. Um, initial reaction, they're not that pleasant. And I feel like you're handling it the best you can, but you're also like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> like, like if the situation wasn't bad enough, now I gotta deal with another level of somebody who's really, like, driven, but very difficult to deal with. Not pleasant. I'm getting not pleasant. The trick is to not feel defeated. Because I feel like the initial knee-jerk reaction is like, oh, boy. Like, it wasn't it bad enough? Like, wasn't it bad enough? <laughs> That's my first knee-jerk reaction. It doesn't have to be this way. Hopefully, you're realizing, hopefully what this is hopefully bringing forward is kind of like, even though that's going to be your, like, first impression, it doesn't have to go that way. So they're like, they're giving you a heads up. This is going to be like, oh, boy, I don't like this. They're really mean. They're really kind of rough. They're really kind of, uh they get right in there. They, they, they dig in the claws. They dig in their teeth. They're right into it. It's a very combative energy. The Aries energy, the, which is the emperor. It doesn't have to be that person, but also the Leo. They jump right on it. Like if something's wrong, they jump right on it. They get right in there and they're not going to play favorites with it. They're just going to call it out for what it is. And if it's brutal, then they're like, well, then it has to be. They don't seem to care. <laughs> this doesn't have to be a bad thing for you. This doesn't have to be a bad thing for you. Your first impression will be that, but I don't... Are they going to be mean to you right off the bat? I hope not. How are they going to treat Leo initial reaction? Because I have a feeling it's you watching it play out that makes you uncomfortable. I don't know that they're going to be that way to you directly. Um, I feel like you get some acknowledgement of positive energy. It's, I feel like I'm going into, if I'm going in, if I see this energy walking into the situation, they're like, well, Libra, it looks like you've tried to do some good things, but I'm curious why you only tried and didn't, weren't successful. And then they kind of move on. So it's kind of like they're acknowledging that you've put some effort towards it, but they're also kind of like, well, yeah, but you failed. As if they're putting it on you. I'm not saying that's fair. I'm not saying that's fair, but I feel like that might be like your first impression. Like, oh, they're acknowledging that I've tried, and they're also kind of like accusing me of failing. Do they have any idea what they're dealing with yet? But I feel like it's a little harsh. It doesn't, I don't feel like I'm being like, like, you know, I don't feel like somebody's sitting me down in a chair and looming over me and just yelling at me. I don't feel that. What I do feel is like somebody's acknowledging me and then saying that, you know, I'm not good enough. That's kind of how it feels. It's just the quick thing. I, don't anchor into that feeling if you can help it. I can see where that would be painful. I think that would be painful. Here's, here's some advice on where to take this. Um... It's not a it's This is not negotiable, whatever it is. There's not going to be negotiations about it. You're going to see it for how it actually rolls. It is a brutal energy. It's very much to the point. It doesn't play around and doesn't seem to play favorites either. Not that that's a problem, but you know what I'm saying. The advice is to quickly find the possibilities. Quickly find the possibilities and learn the rules fast. Learn the rules fast. This is an energy that coming in that's like, it wants the truth, it wants it yesterday. Um, you can't just tell the part of the story that you want to, to tell. You gotta give the details. You gotta, you don't hold anything back. Be careful of that. It doesn't matter if you have good reason or not, it's not gonna go nicely. 
It's just not. I feel like once you realize the terms and conditions of this connection, I feel like once you see it, you can fly with this. You can do well. You really can. Uh, be careful of just telling parts of the story that you feel like make the most sense. Put it all out there. Let them decide. Just put it all out there and let them decide. Um, it's going to be the easiest way for you to do it. In the beginning, you have in the beginning you're not going to be able to use your normal talents like mediating things out, helping people get along. In the beginning, I don't feel like you're going to have that ability. Not in the beginning. Learn the rules. Put it all out there, don't hold anything back, and just focusing on learning the rules that are of the current situation. This does not have to be bad for you. I feel like it's uncomfortable, because I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. It feels uncomfortable. Um, once you learn the rules, you're going to realize what you can and can't do to help the situation work out. You're going to get a lot more success here with the three of cups down here. This is a four of cups card, but like you see there's three here right side up. This is going to go a lot better for you, but it's always going to be taken out of your control. Somebody else is always going to do what they want. And somebody else is always going to stabilize it. You're only going to have so much control, but you got a lot more benefits coming out down here. Um, set around what you like about the situation and it should be okay. It's, I just feel like I don't like I feel like I don't like the way the ship is run. I just don't feel like I like it. Um You're once you realize how to roll with it, I feel like you're gonna be okay. I feel like you're gonna realize that you're secure and that it's just a new way of handling things. Um once this takes hold, everything goes differently. Everything goes differently. Is it successful for Libra after this? We need the truth. Reaching back. Um, Ten of Pentacles, half in, half out, and the Death card, half in, half out. It can be. <clears throat> I keep getting it depends on if you can make peace with how things are going. <clears throat> the situation does a lot better. It has a lot more structure. It doesn't have a lot of like sympathy for people at all. It does feel kind of harsh. Um, it's going to be a very difficult situation to get used to, but it's going to go, it's going to work out in a very good way. It's kind of like no frills. Everybody does what they're supposed to do. Um, somebody else is it like comfort wise. I'm not, I'm feeling like can Libra realistically get comfortable with this? Like realistically. And if so, how eight of cups reversed. And the fool. Um, within reason, I feel like give it a chance. It might take you a good year or two before you're really kind of like, all right, I feel like I found my niche. All right, things are working better. Things are more stable. Um, it's going to come down to when you get when it, when it sinks in again and it anchors in, you have to make a commitment to either stay or go. If you make a commitment to stay with the situation, you will find your place and you will make comfort with it and you'll be fine. But until you have done that, until you've made peace with like, I'm going to stay here, I'm a part of this, I am locked and loaded, ready to go. Until that moment, this I don't feel like this will feel comfortable to you. I feel like I have to make that emotional, mental commitment to it first before I can really get there. Of course, you do have the option to move on from this is what I'm also getting. And if you commit that way, you'll move on to something else. And then that's a whole other story. The situation, I, I got like, it's not easy to deal with, but it's working a lot better. It's like people are getting what they actually should be getting out of it. Um, but there's no frills. I don't know if you're used to frills in this situation, but there's no frills going forward. There's no frills. None at all. Are we good? All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.